Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, delayed exchange variation, 6, DXC67. NC3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. Bxc6 captures the knight and forces doubled c pawns for black. Dxc6 captures the bishop, opens the d file and controls the d5 square. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center and protects the e4 pawn. This defends the attacked pawn. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is the final book action. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. That's good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This disregards a more effective method of disclosing a knight attack. It is incorrect. This ignores a more effective strategy for defending a knight who was being attacked. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. This misses a better way to move a bishop to safety. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a knight. It is a miss. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This threatens to kick a knight. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. Now the bishop is suitably protected. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. 
That's good. It's all right. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better.